Okay, I'm gonna act like there's not something going on. Somebody doesn't want me on the web. <laughs> I've done uh, five or six videos, maybe seven or eight or nine. They're not getting up there. Well, it could be my fiber fog. You know, you're pretty stupid as this thing goes on and keeps going on and on and on. And so anyway, here I am. I'm trying it out again. This video, you know, I was down and we're going to have to come up with our own terms because, you know, there's different phases of fibromyalgia. Some people don't get the pain. Some people get more like chronic fatigue syndrome. Some people get, you know, other things. You know, some people will look at a five-minute video and judge my whole life. And, you know, so we need to start looking at this in different ways. I mean, when I was younger, at uh, 94, I was singing in Key West. And every morning I wake up, my voice was hoarse and my hands hurt. Well, I was singing and playing drums, so it made sense, right? Well, there was other people that were doing the same thing. They didn't have the same reactions. And uh, my prolactin spiked really high. And prolactin is uh, by your hypothalamus. And that's what they believe uh, fibromyalgia is uh, concerned with. So I'm a woman. I'm not lactating, even though I had a doctor a straight doctor in Key West, male of course, and my prolactin's like out of the charts, like it, you know, should be for a lactating woman. And um, his reaction is, well, maybe because you're, you know, gay, that you're getting your nipples stimulated more and uh, your prolactin was higher. And I guess I've always kind of been a smart ass and I said well does that mean you never touch your wife's breasts no wonder I was with her and I really wasn't and I wasn't at that point even trying to be a smart I was just you know you get to a point you go see so many doctors and they tell you so many stupid things that you know you just get to a point well okay I've done more research on this than you have you may have a degree you may be a doctor, but you know what? If they didn't teach it to you in school, if it's not your total study, that doesn't mean you know anything about it. Doesn't mean that after you've done your nine to five, and I've worked for doctors before, that's generally what they do, nine to five, doesn't mean they're gonna read any reports or papers after that. So sometimes if you're doing your own research, you're learning more than they are, but they're still cutting you down because they got the degree, you know. And of course, then your family, they're always really smart too, right? Your, your families are smart. Oh, you're not sick. I've been your whole life. You used to ride horses, used to sing, used to do all this stuff, and now you can't. Maybe you're drinking too much. Maybe you're doing this. Uh, maybe I have fibromyalgia, and maybe... You know, my grandmother had it, and I've seen it for years with her. And maybe my sister killed herself because she couldn't handle the pain. And maybe my brother was ill, and that's why he died. And it does run in families, and there are problems with it. And now, guess what? Okay, I had a problem with my jaw. Everybody's had to have a tooth pulled so they know how it feels. Not everybody. But most people, you know, it's hell when you've had to have a tooth pulled. It's called the trigeminal nerve. And it goes from here into your jaw, to your ears, to your eyes. So my dentist was great. He didn't take any x-rays. So they take me to the person that wants to charge me, of course, $1,500 to do, you know, the thing where they pull your tooth out and take the nerve out. And he's like, which tooth is it? Which tooth is it? And I said, do you notice my whole jaw's inflamed? You realize I have fibromyalgia? And he's like, well, look at the gray in my hair. I said, do you know that doesn't mean anything to me? Do you, have you studied it? Have you looked at fibromyalgia? It means that we're getting pain sensations in places that we probably shouldn't be. It means our brain is sending out signals to our bodies. So anyway, you know how they have your back laid on the chair with a little bib on? The guy pissed me off, so I took the bib off, 
I got up out of his chair and I said, you know what? I don't care how great your hair is. You need to read up on it. So I went to the Cleveland Clinic in Fort Lauderdale, actually Weston, Florida. And uh, I took him my uh, x-rays. I took him my MRIs that showed my discs that are messed up because I was in some accidents which I think I'm going to have to go into because I think it'll be helpful to people to know that each accident or each surgery or accident or whatever happens to you, you may get worse. You may be in more pain with fibro. So anyway, I always have all that stuff on board, right? So he looks at my stuff and he says to me, of course it takes him two seconds, We've decided here at Weston we will not treat FM, fibromyalgia people. I said, well, how can that be? It's on your website. I was told to go to your hospital because you have many different doctors that are supposed to be able to diagnose things. Like you have hand doctors and, you know, uh, female doctors. And you're supposed to be able to do that stuff. And he said, no. I'm sorry we've decided not to do that here in Fort Lauderdale, Weston. So I guess, so I said to him, I guess you can't charge me either. And of course he kind of just did whatever. And I said, so you have no treatment for me. You have nowhere you're going to send me. Actually, the first person at the top of his list was a rheumatologist a woman. And I'm going to have to put her name on the internet as a dick doctor because she treated me like hell the first time I went to her. I said, if that's the first person you're going to send me to, you guys really know nothing about fibro because she didn't. She sent me away from her office crying. That's how bad she was. Anyway, uh, woman, Indian doctor um, on university. I'll tell you more later if you want to know. But, so anyway, it's just, it can be hell when you have this disease because nobody will listen to you. So there is a new thing, and it's a retrovirus. It's like HIV, Okay. They found it out at Cleveland Clinic. Go to your Google bar and put in XRMV. It is a retrovirus. The reason Cleveland Clinic did not treat me, of course they charged me, is because most of us with FM that have all the symptoms, stomach, you know, pain, head, everything else, we have a retrovirus. And they've known about it for 10 years. And guess what? If they've taken your blood and put it in someone else, they may have given it to someone else. All those Gulf War people from uh, our, our, our great people that went over there to fight. I'm not going to say a war. They went over there to uh, have a United States aggression. Those poor people came back with diseases and with problems that nobody would relate to. And they're going through the same thing as FM or XR, FM. If I've got the thing wrong, it's late at night. I've tried to put this video on three times. If this one loads up, well, you'll understand why. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for giving me con comments. You have helped me. Anytime you send me something and I read it and you tell me about yourself, I learn. And it makes me realize that I need to get up out of bed and do something to help all of us because nobody else is there's not any places out there I'm a former musician I still would be if I could move and do you know how many benefits I did to raise money for breast cancer for the Holy Cross Church no I don't know either it was a lot you know how many AIDS benefits I've done neither do I I've done music for the last 20 years so we need to start getting benefits for our own cause to get some research going. Because if you look into XRMV, we have the lowest money going into this. I'm going to stop talking and see if this DM thing works this time. And then talk about how you should talk to your loved one. If you really love the one that is ill. This is Fibro Hall Michelle. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. You guys keep trying too. Bye-bye.